Hello everyone. As you saw in the last video, um, I will talk about Unleash, especially that I was one of the participants in the last Innovation Lab in Denmark 2017. I will share with you uh, my experiences and will answer some of your questions in the application. And um, we'll, let, uh, we'll tell you some uh, information about this um, Innovation Lab and what really Unleash is about. Uh, so so Unleash is a non-profit initiative that is developed by different uh, partners coming from different countries and sectors. Uh, the idea of Unleash is like to source and get uh, 1,000 talents from all over the world just to work on the sustainable development goals, uh, the global goals by the United Nations. As you see in this picture, um, for the people who don't know the SDGs or have no idea of the SDGs, uh, please just pull up the map to go to the website to learn more about these uh, goals or just check the link under this video uh, to learn more about them. Uh, these uh, so the sustainable development goals, as you see here, some of those um, tackle the education inequality, some to eliminate hunger, some uh, it's about providing health to all. Uh, so each one of these goals um, tackle specific issues, some about clean water, some about um, electricity, uh, energy. So um, in Unleash, we were divided according to the themes and goals that we chose. Um, and we, uh, we worked on the solutions for these goals. So the idea of bringing 1,000 talents from the whole world is uh, after the Innovation Lab, each of us will go back to his or her country and work on uh, the solution more and more or maybe to keep going on the project. Um, just then we will have solutions to different issues and we will uh, achieve the vision and the agenda of 2030 for the Sustainable Development Goals. Here in the picture, you can see um, all the 199 individuals in the health uh, theme and this was in one of the towns in Denmark at the Folk High School. So in this innovation lab, you will work with uh, team members and you will have facilitators from different organizations that will um, who will help you uh, in your ideas and you will go through this innovation process, design thinking, uh, you will get an ongoing support of your ideas um, and uh, they will accelerate your ideas and partner you with different companies, NGOs, governmental agencies just to bring your ideas to life. Um, I will show you some snaps of these different uh, stages of the innovation process that we went through. and. Uh, and you will also get access to an online hub uh, where you will meet the first cohort of the Innovation Lab. So you will be then at 2,000, not 1,000 talents. In this hub, uh, many share opportunities in research, competitions, uh, projects. It's a very unique platform. It's a, I think it's a big reward of this lab. So I have received a question about um, what type of people uh, are accepted in this program, who are the SDG talents. Um, you can find uh, the answer here in the website. And if you, if any of these conditions uh, fit you, um, they said it like the age uh, should be between 20 to 35, but still the age is not restriction. If you find yourself um, having an impact in your workplace, um, in your field, um, if you find yourself innovative, talented, or passionate about solving some issues and problems around you, just apply and you never know, you, you, you might be accepted in the program and you might do something really impressive um, through the program with the global connection. 
To give you more idea about the participants, uh, this is from the first cohort uh, who participated in the first Unleash Lab in Denmark, uh, 2017. As you see here, uh, the 1,000 talents came from 129 countries. And um, so I was the one from Saudi, and there was um, like from Syria, Lebanon, um, from Asia, uh, America, Africa, uh, so from, from all over the world. And the age range um, was from 20 to over 30 years old, as you see here. And uh, there was uh, also both and both male and female participants. And as you see here, uh, most of the uh, most people are academics, were either working in universities or students themselves, uh, entrepreneurs or intrapreneurs or tech experts. Um, so as you see from this picture, like the opportunity is open um, to anyone who find themselves like passionate and, and want to solve an emerging issue uh, in their field or in the world. Um, so just apply and all the best. So someone asked about the application to Unleash and what did I write exactly in the application. I will just go through the form and um, show you what type of questions are there uh, just to give you an idea. Um, so there's a chance to be nominated, but I myself wasn't nominated. And uh, there's a chance to be accepted without that. So um, just fill all the questions here, the regular questions of the name and the country and all of that. Uh, then you have to choose your passion and insights from all the SDGs, like which uh, goal you uh, want to solve and uh, it's your priority and for me because I'm a dentist and in public health um, I chose uh, the health and well-being but still you can choose any other goal depends um, depends on your passion and your projects and what kind of issues you want to solve uh, for example in the health theme there was someone uh, in fashion with us so there is no need like to have like a background in this because in, in the second question you will actually say the reason why you chose uh, this SDG as your priority um, and then you can choose another priority as well, the second priority. Um, then you can uh, put what insight that you have about around this SDG, what kind of problems you, you've you seen. or um, And each question actually has um, ha its answers, and, uh, uh, its explanations, sorry, under the, uh, under the boxes. So you can understand more what they want. Um, also, what kind of ideas that you have and solutions for this um, SDG goal. And then the rest about profile, about your experience, uh, work experience or education experience. Um, it's a bit different from last year, but it's all um, like fine. You just like explain what you are doing actually, what kind of projects you are working on, um, what kind of achievements you had. Um, all of that just like, include it and show uh, show what what is your expertise. Uh, because you will use uh, these skills with your team in the innovation lab. So someone asked me how was your experience at Unleash. Uh, so I'll give you a glimpse uh, of the whole experience and then I will put my old snaps from the from the journey. We went through as a team in um, through the innovation process as you see here and most of these uh, steps happened in the Polk High Schools in Denmark. So um, we went through a design thinking process where we used uh, an activity cards so with uh, different activities to work on the problems, to frame them and to select an idea within a team and then to do a prototype and test the, these prototypes. So this one example of the prototype from one of the participants. Um, I will show that in another video. He will explain it to you. So, and this was at the marketplace uh, where we tested our prototypes with the community, with the people to have their feedback. Um, so after that, we uh, presented our projects uh, to our peer talents and investors and bestseller in Denmark. 
so one of the amazing places that we went to uh, in Denmark was the art museum it was reserved for our regional meetings so in each exhibit uh, there was like a uh, unleashed talents from the Middle East or from Europe from Europe from America so it was really an interesting experience um, we also have the uh, refugee camps uh, this is another scene from the art museum and in the award show um, the party we had uh, some uh, unique guests we had the Prime Minister and the Princess Mary of the Denmark Ashton Kutcher the founder of Khan Academy Salman Khan all of them uh, delivered an amazing and inspiring speeches at the award show so I will end up with a last question for today um, what did you benefit from Unleash Lab uh, so I have these valuable connections from all over the world and we are actually still connected and uh, we are discussing uh, a promising initiative, a global public health initiative that we will announce soon, maybe around May. So stay tuned. I will say all about it at the time, inshallah. Um, it's like shredded meat in Nigeria.